What's going on fam, it's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator, Lucky Murray here with another CHH Today guys and I want to say thank you so much man for the conversations that I had on my last video I dropped which was AHA Gazelle and the response that Rapzilla put out. I was super encouraged by people who agreed with me and people who disagreed with me. It doesn't pay me no mind, you know, I love the conversation. I, I feel like if you are in this space where you're commentating and you're talking, you should be able to have some criticism and take it, you know, extremely well, or at least take it with a grain of salt. But also, you can't just have everybody that rides your coattail. But thank you so much. The AHA Gazelle um, Rapzilla response video was my biggest video to date. So, guys, I'm super excited by that. Um, again. I got some more news to bring to you, but it was a slow week in CHH, and a lot of people were, you know, good or bad, swayed by the AHA Gazelle's comments. So, what I wanted to do was report on something else that I saw that was very interesting with Rapzilla. If you know me, I check Rapzilla, I check Track Stars, I also check Gem the Hype. I'm also on Twitter just trying to find news that would be interesting to my CHH Today fam. And, guys, they reported that Dayton tired of the CHH imposters. Let's get into this, man. And and again, I'm going to link the, the article in my description so you can see this article yourself. I thought that Rapzilla did do a great job with really voicing Dayton and his opinion. So Dayton goes on to say, and I'm paraphrasing here, that he thinks that people who tries to emulate Lecrae and Emilio, um, reach records camp success by going to chh and then just saying hey i totally do not rock with chh whatsoever i've never been a part of it i don't know what it is and this is no pun intended for aha gazelle guys i'm just saying that there's people other than aha gazelle that truly do not want to even associate with the title chh because remember back in i think 2012 2013 lecrae started to distance himself away from the chh label not saying that he wasn't a christian that he wasn't a christian rapper who only was influencing christians and he said that hey and i'm paraphrasing on the rapzilla article he said hey people who try to emulate their, their success and then try to back out of it that's totally fake he hears that you know lecrae and Minio that their music is still Christ-centered, but they're in a different pond, ministering to people that are lost outside of church. And I said this all the time, and I heard this from many, many artists. There are artists that are for the church, and there are artists that are from the church. People like Lecrae and the Minio Reach Records are from the church. They don't necessarily minister to Christian artists or Christian you know, fan base, but they're nevertheless christians i look at people like tori kelly i look at people like um who else that's, that's doing a uh, chance to rapper and a few others debatable you know chance to rap a lot of people debate well, he's a christian blah, blah, blah. i'm not trying to be the christian police and say who is a christian who's not but they confess that they are a believing christian and they navigate through the mainstream they don't necessarily make music for christians quote unquote and then there are artists like dayton god of money and a, a lot of other folks that just make music it's not necessary for christians but their audience is heavily influenced by christians who like hip-hop and he also said that you know if you remember correctly last year Lecrae had an interview where he was talking about CHH artists and he necessarily did not mention CHH as a whole and he kind of dumbed down the question. I will have that link in the description as well if you remember correctly and Dayton actually called him out like look you know I, I, I you know I'm kind of thinking that you know you did what you meant by that and it was very I thought it was a very biblical response that Dayton is giving Lecrae. Lecrae actually responded back because usually Lecrae don't necessarily respond back. Why would he need to respond back to, you know, pretty much, I'm not saying Dayton's a nobody, but compared to where Lecrae's at and compared with Dayton's at, it didn't necessarily 
Lecrae did not necessarily have to respond to him, but the fact that Lecrae took the time to see what Dayton was putting out and also respond shows a lot about his character and that he does practice um, Paul when he says that no one is above approach. And I think that Lecrae practiced not being above approach. And, and uh, Dayton also said one guy that he thinks is doing it right is Zanti, which I think Zanti is going to have a big year this year. He had two big hits. Well, he had like two or three big hits last year. God taught me he had Joyful, and he also put out it in the year number 34, which eh, I thought the song was okay, you know. But 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 no matter what I think, I, I do believe that Zanti is going to have a big year because I think that CHH is, is craving for hot new artists. I, I think that, you know, that, that, that the community, we hear the same old, same old people, and it's like somebody need to bust through that bubble. And I think Zanti has done it, and I think the other artists can use Zanti as an example. Look. You know, Zanti song was the hottest song on Rapzilla's website. Period. You know, he's the only song if you look at it that that broke a million million uh, views on YouTube. And SoundCloud plays I haven't checked those, but they're they're pretty hot. So he's a pretty hot artist, and he's in the hot bed of Florida. Florida produces a lot of hot artists. So Dayton says that hey, look, he thinks it's fake. You know what I'm saying? He he put out a track called How About That on his uh off his new mixtape. So guys, man, I I, I, I agree with, with, with Dayton. Um, I, I do believe that it's kind of corny for somebody to build their audience strictly through CHH. And then once they get a, a little bit of notoriety, be like, look, I don't even rock with them because of what people's afraid of the label. I, I think that the label doesn't necessarily make the artist, you know, um, and when you start off, you always start off with a niche. You know, there's backpack rappers, there's snap rappers, there's, you know, there's, there's wave rappers, you know, that's new school rappers. It's, it's, everybody has a little niche until they break out the niche and they, can, and they can grow out the niche. So I just think that a lot of people, they should decide what side do they want to be on. Uh, if you're going to promote to Christian uh, hip hop listeners, then that's probably what you're going to be associated with. Now, I can see if somebody, like I said in the last video, that hey if you are like and let's say a chance to rap a chance to rapper no way shape or form ever posted anything on a christian hip-hop site i, I never seen one he dropped acid rain or acid rap the mixtape and then um the, the color book the, the mixtape that, that blew up and it won him a couple grammys never seen him on any christian hip-hop but he does consider himself as a christian artist and he did make the, a, a song, a Christian, a, a gospel song, I believe, how, how, how great thou art, you know, but, you know, nobody's saying, hey, you know, uh, you, you never hear Chance the Rapper, yeah, you know what I'm saying, like, I, I don't, I don't rock, I don't know what Christian pop is, it's like, hey, you know, Chance the Rapper, that's a Christian, and it's debatable, so I don't want nobody, hey, you could jump on my, my comment section and, and try to debate me all day long, it doesn't really matter, <laughs> but, you know, uh, Chance the Rapper as a Christian is navigating the mainstream world. So I, I think it's a little kind of confusing for artists that, that, that start their lane in Christian hip hop and totally flip out. But Dayton is has something to say about these wannabe Christian hip hop heads. But comment below, man. Tell me what you think. Uh, do you agree with Dayton? Comment below. If you don't agree with Dayton, comment below. If you hate my voice, comment below. And also, I'm trying to get to a thousand subs. You know why? Because your boy is trying to get that YouTube money. And you know, YouTube say you have to have 4,000 watch time. I'm past that. You also have to have a thousand subscribers. So if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. Even if you don't watch my video, just subscribe anyway, because I want to do it a legit way. And again, this is the entertainer the motivator and the educator lucky murray here saying dayton i agree with you man we need to call it the chh wannabes and if you're gonna come in our community you're best to rep christ if not you're gonna get booted slam out find your artist somewhere else oh i forgot it's a little harder to do that if you don't have a particular niche that you're a part of anyway until next time people